Iraqi hospital officials said late Monday that a fire ripped through a coronavirus unit in southern Iraq, killing at least 50 people and wounding scores more. According to the Associated Press, all of those who died in the blaze at Al Hussein Teaching Hospital in the southern city of Naziria received serious burns. According to them, at least 50 individuals were killed, with others in serious condition. Officials stated the fire was started by an electric short circuit, but they didn't elaborate. An oxygen cylinder exploded, according to another health official in the Kar province, where Nasiriya is located. The cause of the fire has yet to be determined by the health ministry. According to two medical officials who spoke on the condition of anonymity due to rules, the new ward, which opened barely three months ago, has 70 beds. According to Amar Al-Zamali, a spokeswoman for the Vikar Health Department, at least 63 patients were inside the facility when the fire broke out. In statements to the press, Iraq's civil defense chief, Major General Khalid Bowen, stated the building was made of flammable materials and was prone to fire. It was the second time this year that a big fire in an Iraqi hospital killed coronavirus patients. In April, an oxygen tank exploded, causing a fire at Baghdad's Ibn al-Hatib hospital, killing at least 82 people. Iraq is experiencing yet another serious COVID-19 outbreak. The number of new coronavirus cases per day peaked at 9,000 last week.